name's Brent Geidinger and I work at Boyle Street Community Services for their street outreach team. So our team goes out into the river valleys, the parkland areas, all across the city and build relationships with individuals who are living outside and we develop rapport with them, we kind of see where they're at and try to connect them to services that can offer more stability in their lives. So Boyle Street we offer a wide variety of programs and services. We're currently, I think currently almost have 40 that we offer the community. Uh, we welcome everybody from all walks of life. Um, largely uh, community members that come to Boyle Street are facing uh, severe barriers to, inclu to social inclusion. So that could be homelessness, could be addictions, could be historical trauma, childhood trauma, you name it. But we welcome everybody. Uh, some of the programs we offer, mental health services, safe needle exchange, uh, urban counseling, uh, our outreach program. We have a housing services team here. We cover a wide variety of services because lots of community members we deal with have a wide variety of uh, barriers that they're trying to address. So we try to make sure we cover all those bases. On the street outreach team, basically what a day is, is we'll meet up and just behind Boyle Street and at 7 a.m., so bright and early. And from there, we'll kind of pair off. We'll go to different areas of the city and usually check different parkland areas or different parts of the River Valley. And we'll check on the folks sleeping in those areas. So some of them we've known for a long time. Some of them we've never met before, but it all starts with building relationships with them. And I think that's one thing uh, that our team really takes pride in, is making sure we try to develop that rapport with an individual, see where they're at and kind of go at their pace. And at the end of the day, just try to be like a companion for them. The heart and soul of Boyle Street is our drop-in center, which is open all year round. Uh, in the winter, they have extended hours, so people always have a warm place to go to when the shelters close and when they open. So in the winter time, we could see up almost 300 people. We do serve food here, we serve coffee, we also have drop-in activities to promote engagement. United Way, I know right now, funds our ID Storage Bank program and our Urban Counseling Network. Uh, the ID Storage Bank is a godsend. Uh, tons of individuals we work with have very important documents from their ID to tax forms to immigration papers, stuff that if it's lost, it can take months, if not years, to reclaim, uh, and very expensive too. So we always encourage individuals who have documents on them who are living outside to try and store them with our with our storage bank and without that I know we would not be as successful of a pro as a program as we are now without the support of United Way being a support for our, our ID storage bank. I think that's one reason why we've been successful as a program. Without relationships we our program wouldn't succeed at all and I don't think any program in Boyle Street would succeed if we didn't focus on the relationship first. So it wouldn't be possible without the support of United Way. So they're definitely addressing a need that uh, maybe goes unnoticed a lot of times, but it's definitely something that we see on a constant basis in the work we do.